Well, I woke up to a beautiful day this morning here on the lake. Joe Mary Lake. And I've already had some coffee and I've had my breakfast bar and um, an apple. So I'm getting ready to pack everything up and get out of here. It's about 628 right now. And I'm ready to roll. I'm ready to get this thing done. It's uh, time to finish. Hey, good morning, everybody. Today is Thursday, July 13th, day 140 on the Appalachian Trail. And it's about 7 a.m., a little late start, but I don't know, I've been up since five and I just couldn't get everything done. Wet is the name of the game. <laughs> but I'm off now from Antlers Campsite, which was a beautiful spot all to myself. It's pretty nice. Um, it has a nice privy, just a beautiful campsite. Somebody commented in far out and did great bucks to take zero. I can't imagine, I guess if you were, if you were so bold, it might be take a zero. Cause you know, it would take a little bit to get here, but going no bow this close to the end, I would have a hard time zero. And anyway, oh, I'm off, I'm, I'm rolling. I'm trying to get some big miles down today. It'll leave me just a few short miles to finish up into the base, into, Baxter State Park. Uh, slept good. No rain during the night. Woke up to the sun shining. Rise this morning, as I showed you in some of those photos. Really nice. Made coffee, had breakfast. So we should be fueled for the day. I doctored on my toes. They will definitely need some TLC once I'm done to get well before I can get back to exercising and running again. But we'll see how that goes. Right now, this is the task at hand. Uh, I'll try to go 33 miles today. I don't know if I can do it or not, especially starting at seven. Did not want to start this late, but I just couldn't get it all going this morning. So anyway, it's supposed to be flat. It's supposed to be easy. Everybody talks about this section being really easy. And those of us who are going no bow, been hiking for five months, can do it. We'll find out. I got a bunch of snacks in my pocket. And if I have to, I'll stop and even cook a meal. I got enough food to cook a meal. So but I don't really want to do that. I want to just try to make it on snacks so I can save time. Snacks and hydration. All right. Hopefully I'll get another view of Katahdin from, from somewhere. I don't know if that is the case or not. And I don't, I don't have any inside word on that. I, the last 15 miles have been in the woods yesterday. All right, talk to you later. Uh, it's about 8.45 or so. And I've been pushing it hard, going at a 2.7 pace. It's uh, really, probably need to be a little bit faster than that even to get the distance I want to get. I don't know, can't go any faster. Cause, uh, Trail won't let me. I have to constantly slow down for roots, rocks, mud bogs, all that. It's not a whole lot of elevation gain and loss, but still, as you can see, like right here, you just have to be careful. You can't just step anywhere. You have to watch every step. And here goes another section where I even got to put the phone down.
you know, it gets tough, especially the last probably three weeks have taken its toll on me physically, which in turn takes its toll on you mentally. You think, you start thinking at night, why? What was I thinking? Why did I do this, you know? And for a person who believes, you try to claim scripture that says, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. You know, if God let me to do this, he's gonna give me the strength to do it. I believe firmly that he did. So I'll challenge you in whatever you do. I challenge my children, my grandchildren. Make your mind up. Decide what the Lord's leading you to do. Pray. And he'll give you the strength. It won't always be easy. I'll have to admit, this has not been a cakewalk. I have not skipped any sections. As far as I know, I have passed every white blaze. I have not yellow blazed any section and I have not blue blazed any section. There have been times when I thought, well, this would be a lot easier if I just skip this section and move on because it's so hard. But I wanted to do the whole trail. And when I get done, I want to be able to say, I, I hiked the Appalachian Trail. Something you can be proud of, something you know you did. It was, was a monumental thing in your life. Same thing goes for my children and my grandchildren. It may not be at hiking the Appalachian Trail. It may be something else. You can do it. With the Lord's help, you can do it. And everybody else is watching this. If you're a believer, call on that supernatural power that not everybody has. First of all, we need it mentally, and then we'll need it sometimes physically. Okay, this, today's sermon's over. Pass the plate. <laughs> Just a little bit of what's on my heart here. One of the last few days to be hiking. I want to be, able to be sharing that. I have struggled, struggled, struggled here the last three weeks to keep going. I don't always tell it on video because I want to make the video as positive as I can. But the truth is I've struggled and I wanted to quit, but I just couldn't. There's no way I can quit. Not this close and the rains the river crossings, bad feet, the falling. I fall probably three or four times a day. Every time I hit the ground, I think, oh my gosh, did I, did I break something? Did I, I be bleeding? But, you know, still able to get up and go. Some days I don't fall at all, but some other days it seems like I fall. If I fall in the morning, it looks like I'm going to fall a couple of times that day. Well, I was just paying attention to every step. I don't always do. Just then, you know, I look to the side and stomp my foot. <laughs> All right. Sermon over.
Na Macanta Lake. I'm sitting here on a gravel beach, filtering water and eating lunch. It's almost 12 noon. I've gone 10.66 miles. I don't know how I'm gonna get 30 out of this. It's too slow. I'm doing my best, but too many roots and rocks. I don't know how many I'll end up with today. I sure was hoping for 30. We'll see. This, uh, I could take a nap actually right here. This is kind of comfortable and the, and the bugs are not bad right here. Which is crazy because you get in the woods and start hiking there all over you. Okay, I'm climbing the Sunabit, Nay Sunabit, something like that mountain. I'm assuming that's it way up there. And uh, it's starting to cloud. Humidity level has come way up. And somehow or another, I missed this so far out because I thought it was all flat. This is a pretty good climb. Still got a ways to go to get up there, but it's, I just looked at it and it's supposed to provide a view. So I'm hoping to get there before it gets too, too cloudy or rainy. There she is, covered in clouds, 16 miles from here. 35 miles by the trail. Rainbow Stream. Definitely streaming. That'd make a serious water slide, wouldn't it? Whew. The water is getting it. Well, not exactly how I plan to end my last day in the 100-mile wilderness. Well, tomorrow morning I will walk out of the 100-mile wilderness. I went 28.8 today. I tried to was planning to go over 30, but couldn't get it done. And I hiked till 9 o'clock tonight. Kept trying to find a place to set up and couldn't find one that I felt good enough about. Uh, I went past the one I should have stayed at, but that was... At least I got some more miles in. Um, I'm in my tent. I am just in a stealth spot. And, uh, oh, I don't know. I got probably 18 miles or so to go tomorrow, maybe 17, to be at Katahdin Stream. And then I'm taking Saturday off and plan to summit on Sunday. So, 
Uh, it is 10.30 or so, so I don't know how early I'm going to get up in the morning, hopefully. Hopefully I'll be able to get going pretty early, but I don't know. All right, this is the end of uh, a long, long day of hiking for me, and I hope everybody's doing good. I got two more hiking days, and I'm done. I will see you tomorrow.